Hello and welcome to my craft room. My name is Tina. Today this is going to be a knitting video um, to share with you all my updates of what I've got in knitting and what I'm going to be knitting. So uh, first of all I have a finish. So I have finished the harvest cardigan that we've been having a knit along and so it's all done. So I wanted to just stand up so you could have a look at it first of all. It's easier if I stand over here. So I made quite a small version because I wanted it to be quite fitted. I put a hook and eye just here because there's no closures and I felt it suited my body shape more if I put a hook and eye just there so then I get that V shape there and it stops it moving around so much. I think just it suits me better for what I wanted. So, yeah, it's got garter stitch down the front panel. It starts, it's a top-down cardigan with garter stitch. You knit it all in one go. You stop for the sleeves and then carry on with the sleeves. But all this garter stitch is knit as you go down. So there's no stitches to pick up at the end. And then it's a garter stitch band at the bottom and also a garter stitch on the cuff. So I've got my stripes a little bit wrong, <laughs> but I don't actually mind that. So I've got two different cuffs. So but I think it's quite fun. I don't mind that because, yeah, it's, it's not machine made. It's human made. So it's going to have quirkiness to it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. And... Yeah, it's going to be nice and warm because it's 75% wool. I shall show you which uh, yarn it is in a moment. So I'll just show you the back. So it's just straight down at the back. No shaping. And yeah, so just a really nice, easy wear, easy knit cardigan. So if you haven't made a garment before, I highly recommend it. It's by Tin Can Knits. One of their simple designs which are all free and they give a lot of help as well if you didn't want to follow my tutorials tin can knits are really good for giving you help on their site as well so yeah that is my make that i finished so i'm just going to move the camera around and i'll talk about the yarn with you so the yarn is west yorkshire spinners and it's the fusions and it's the autumn mix so yeah i was really pleased with it it's the same Consistency is, is with the sock yarn, so it's 75% wool, 25% nylon, and it's an Aran weight, so it's nice and chunky, nice and quick to knit up. So that is what I used. I've also, as you can see, I've got a whole ball left and some scraps. So what I was thinking of was maybe make some Aran weight socks to use as slippers when I'm wearing jeans. I thought that would be nice and cosy. So I might make that or I was thinking mittens. Nice chunky mittens. So yeah, we shall see. But I really love this yarn. So I definitely want to use it for something. So, but I'm thinking at the moment because I do like my slippers. <laughs> I can't stand cold feet. So yeah, I'm thinking find a pattern for some really nice Aran woolly knitted socks and try those and as I say I can put them over my other socks for double warmth and so that would be really toasty so I think that's my favourite thing at the moment I think if I can get it I don't know how much yarn for Aran weight that would use so I need to look that up but as I say if not then I'll probably wear make a pair of mittens because I think that'd be really good mittens as well so that is my finish for this time so I am also working on oh the pattern for that I did mention it but it's the harvest I'll put all the links below it's the harvest cardigan by tin can knits so yeah really good pattern and I can see myself making one sort of one a year or something because they're really nice I would like to maybe do another one in I know they do this yarn in plums or greys different tones of grey I think would be really good in the wardrobe because you could put it up with so many things grey just tones in doesn't it and I do wear 
grey opaque types quite a lot as well. If I don't want to go for black, I go for grey. So, yeah, maybe a grey one, a tonal grey one, maybe next. But I haven't got time at the moment, so it'll probably be next year. But yeah, it might be a yearly make, different colour every year, because it's just just such an easy pattern to make and yeah just a nice throw on so that is that one so the other cardigan that I'm making at the moment I've got it in my vintage bag <laughs> so the other one I'm doing is the cardigan which is a summer cardigan that I still haven't finished it's in four ply so at the moment it's all a big mess <laughs> so I've done both sleeves so I've just gone for just below the elbow for the sleeves and I'm literally picking up the thing I like doing the least is picking up stitches for the band that's going to go all the way round. So literally you have to pick up from one side and go all the way around and down the other side. So and that's all I need to do. So I would like to get this finished and off the needles, but let's say off. I abandoned it halfway <laughs> but it was late and I decided I'd rather go to bed than carry on with it so yeah once I picked up those stitches and I'm just doing a little bit of rib then I'll be fine but I don't enjoy picking up the stitches at all so but I really want to get this finished because yes it's nearly done there you go so if I get it done now I'll get somewhere out of it on nice days and also, I might even wear it, if I was going out to dinner, then I'd wear it in the winter because it's just a nice one to wear. If I got something, I just wanted a little cardigan over the top. So I will still have it in the wardrobe for the winter if I'm going to be inside somewhere warm and I just wanted something a bit nicer than a chunky knit. So that should be finished for next time. So I'm hoping I'll get it finished over the weekend, really. The yarn is the Knitting Goddess and it's the Raspberry Colourway. Sorry. Knitting Goddess, Raspberry Colourway and it's Mulberry Silk and Super Fine Falkland Merino. So it feels absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really looking forward to putting my arms in this. <laughs> So that is where I'm up to on my cardigan. So the other thing that's on my needles is the socks. Now, you may remember I had a bit of a thing with the needles. I had a needle disaster where it snapped. So I'm onto my new needles now. So this is, if I can find the ball band, this is Drops Delight, no colour name, but it's the one with the purple pink and the bright yellow. So I'm loving the colours. I'm near about at the toe now. It makes quite a dense sock, this one. I really love how it is. I've made some drop socks before and they are really good winter socks. You know you're wearing them where you wear these. So yeah, um, so I've done my usual sock recipe. To be honest, I only look at the pattern for the heels and the toes really because yeah, it's so my recipe now. It's the Vull and Vine Yarns, favourite socks by Kristen. Um, she has her own podcast. I'll link everything below. And it's just a basic the basic sock with a heel turn, which I like. It gives me a good fit and I find them easy to do. As I say, 
I don't really look at much of the pattern now. It's really the actual turn of the hill that I follow because it's just so simple and it just makes sense. So yeah, that is my sock. It comes in 50 gram balls, so I've just got that little ratty piece left. It's all fallen apart. And so I need to do the next one of those. But I think I'll put that to one side because I've got a lot of people asking for the toe up sock tutorial. So I may do a toe up sock tutorial and then come back to it. But it will mean that this is my third single sock. So I'll need to do some second socks to yeah finish those off for winter really but the toe up socks i have actually done one so that will be a second sock because i wanted to test out the pattern because i'd never done the toe up before i didn't know what was involved so i wanted to run through it and then i just got onto other things and i didn't do the tutorial so i'm sorry but yes i think it's because i wasn't overly interested in the yarn I use for them I use quite a boring yarn so that's what put me off but mm, they are going to be good socks so I shall get back to those very soon so the cast on I'm going to be doing this week because I'm going to start a knit along again they're going to be tutorials for the shawl pattern that we are doing I shall say the English version, it means sleep, sleep, little bird. And it's a lovely shawl with a lace part on it. So the lace sections will be interesting. It's mainly garter stitch, so it should be quick and easy to do. It's a one skein shawl. So I am using baby long legs in 100% merino. So that is the yarn, the colours. I chose it to go with a coat that I've got, a bright red coat. And that is the label. I bought the yarn at Fiber East. So I'm all excited to start working on that because I think that will look quite nice. <laughs> so yeah, the shawl, I've had a little skim of the pattern. It's not something I've knit before. Um, there's another picture of the lady actually wearing it around her neck to give you an idea of the size. So you can knit it either with a three and a half or four millimetre needle. So I'll go for four millimetres because I like it nice and open and airy and quite big being one skein. I want it to be nice and big. Um, you actually start off with just a few stitches cast on this is a free pattern by the way and so yeah I'll link it below so you can get your pattern already if you want to join in so the cast on is just a few stitches and then it's a big lot of garter just increases before you come into got three sections of the lace so most of it's going to be a garter so a nice quick easy make I think so I shall put the first video up next Friday and I don't know what Friday that's going to be can't see the calendar but yeah <laughs> I shall put it below the date but it is going to be next Friday um, so look out for that so I'll put a playlist so if you don't want to start it when we start it just look out for the playlist when you're ready and there'll just be a few little videos as I say I don't think there'll be a lot of videos because the pattern is quite simple so if I only need to do one um lace video then i'll just do a lace video and then use it for the different ones with the increases i think it's going to be quite rep 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 <laughs> i think it's going to be quite repetitive <laughs> so yeah now we've moved on from the beginner knits then i'll go to try and not do so much hot hand holding to let you fly free and choose your own patterns everyone who's learnt to knit with me that is the idea so yeah you can choose and do whatever you want you don't have to wait for me to say i'm going to do a tutorial you'll have the skills to then go on to do what you want to do that was always the idea of the tutorials it's the cross stitchers that wanted to knit just to get them up and running because i'm not a teacher i'm not professionally trained 
it's just my friends that watch my cross stitch videos wanted to learn to knit so I said yeah I'll teach you thinking it'd be one or two videos and it's just progressed <laughs> into something I never expected and now I've got people that have been knitting for 40 years saying oh I'm following your tutorial and I'm thinking oh no <laughs> That wasn't it's lovely and it's really lovely that so many people got involved and everyone's welcome but from a point of view of somebody that just thought they were going to teach people that didn't know what they were doing it's very intimidating <laughs> but lovely I'm enjoying it that's why I'm carrying on because I have so many people saying how much it's helped them that yeah it's really nice to know that people are knitting and to be helping people knit and carrying on the knitting because so many people didn't have parents that knitted. It's so nice to be able to help fill that gap where people missed out so they can do something that brings so much joy to me and a lot of other people. So, getting back <laughs> to next Friday we shall be starting this. So I'm really looking forward to it and yeah, I'm really looking forward to just balling this up and seeing how this is going to knit because that's always exciting you see it on the skein but it's really hard to think visualize how it's going to be in a knitted item so yeah very exciting times cast ons so that is my update for today so thank you for joining me thank you for spending some time in my craft room it's always lovely to have you here let me know what you're knitting um, you can find me on Ravelry I love to see what other people are knitting on Ravelry if you've anybody that befriends me I always check out to see what your projects are to pick up some new ones my list is getting longer and longer of what I want to knit so yeah that's always lovely to see other people's knitting so thank you for thank you for liking and subscribing and i shall see you again very soon so bye for now take care